Hey there folks, I uh, apologize, haven't done a vid in a while. Um, as I promised, I'm going to bang out my uh, scores from Blade uh, 2015. <clears throat> I've been kicking this uh, cold, this uh, bug, and um, I figured I'd just get my lazy ass up and bang it out. I know a few guys have been asking for it. So this is the Mark 16. This is a collaboration knife from uh, Robert Carter and Nick Chuprin. If you guys aren't familiar with Nick Chuprin, he's NCC Knives on Instagram. He's a young kid. He's like, I believe he's only 18. I've seen him around a few times in the, um, in the knife shows uh, since I've been going. Um, nice young man, very talented. He used to show us his work and I was like really impressed with him. And, um, but I never really got to hold, I mean, examine one, one properly until this one. This one is, this one was a lottery knife in Blade Show, uh, at Robert Carter's, uh, table. <clears throat> and this was, again, as a, a collab knife. It's the, um, this one is the Mark 16. So it's based on Nick's, uh, M1 knife, right? I think I got that right. It's Mark 1 knife, and of course, Rob Card is F16, so they, mel they, they melded the two knives together and came up with the Mark 16. Uh, the steel, let me just show you the steel, is M390. Look at that beautiful blade shape. So again, this is a joining of the two makers, their designs. And it is just perfection. When I saw this at Blade Show, and Rob said this was a lottery knife, of course, I already picked up my uh, bare bones model, and I, I promptly entered, as well as other people, entered this lottery because this was actually my number one pick. Uh, there's a few knives out there that, that were uh, collabs, and I know a few guys on Instagram have already um, posted them. There were definitely more with exotic materials, but this was the one that just uh, spoke to me. I wanted it. I love this bark finish that they put. Um, I know if you guys do this bark finish, but I really like the way they did this. Uh, Peter Rizenti does the same thing. He does his bark finish. If you saw my, I believe it was my East Coast 2015 Custom Knife Show, he did pretty much the same finish. He calls it the Groot after that character in, um, I forget the movie. That kid, that that movie with the little wolf, <laughs> I, I, I it escapes my mind right now. But I just love the the details on this bark pattern. Just really, really phenomenal. And the blade shape. It's got the harpoon. It's got the swedge. It's got the tanto. It's got, I mean, it's got everything. It's got a compound grind. It's just. Perfect. It's got a beautiful stone wash on it. Really, really well done. Lock up is nice and early. Just the details in this knife. It just it's just phenomenal. Even on the sculpted pocket clip. Just really, really well done. I've seen a lot of makers have been doing this where they're kind of doing the hidden screws. You can see that the screws are inside the handle. I guess they could actually do it without it being exposed to the very end uh, or, or exposed on the side of the handles right I'm sure or not, a lot of makers have done that already but that's kind of cool it's kind of neat okay let's see what can you see over there uh, I think it's hopefully it's not upside down my lights not really capturing I think it's Rob's and let me see I can't, I can't really tell oh I, I see it Okay, it's, um, okay, okay, <laughs> they F you in the drive through all right, so it's Nick Chuprin's uh, initials, NCC, and you can see RFC, Robert Carter's uh, initials, very nice, I don't think there's a number, I don't even know what number, but this knife is just a thing of beauty, just gorgeous, I was lucky enough to get this as a score in Blade Show. And just love it. Rob did the Tonto tip and the swedge on this particular knife. Basically, the way they explained it to me, both gents did like 50-50 to work. Uh, Rob took uh, Nick's uh, Mark 1 model 
and basically slimmed it down. And this is definitely a slimmer knife. It's perfection. It's just beautiful. You guys know I'm a fan of Rob Carter's, and now I'm a fan of uh, Nick Chuprin's. If I'll put the information below. If you guys aren't following any of these gents, you really should. Uh, this is an 18 year old kid folks. This kid is going places. He's already doing beautiful work and he's doing collab work and probably this collab just put him on the map if it didn't already in the past but um, he's a good kid. Um, does phenomenal work. He's also New York based so that's kind of cool so that's why I always see him at the, uh, the East Coast uh, based knife shows like New York Custom Knife Show. Uh, just really really phenomenal work if you guys can't see. Let's get into the details just beautiful I can't believe that this kid is not even in his 20s yet and just just beautiful work uh, I know that Nick did do the bark pattern he was explaining to me that he had to carve it up and he did a couple of uh, sandblasting and anodizing a couple of times he just to repeat it just to expose the darker tones and the lighter tones um, it's all technical shit that I, I just really appreciate the work and he tried to explain it to me but what do I know but just really really phenomenal work um, so that is titanium handles of course it is a frame lock um, beautiful flipper it actually works really well love the flipper tab so it's more conducive for a flip, flip uh, push button just gorgeous Love the swedge, no jimping, and I don't think it needs it, and then and, and that, that kind of, the harpoon kind of accommodates your thumb there. Um, just really beautiful work. Gorgeous. All right, folks, uh, I just want to do a quick vid on that because I want to bang him out. I have another young knife maker I'm going to bang out. Uh, let me see if I can show it to you guys real quick, do a quick preview. <clears throat> All right, he's got this nice fancy case for me. This young man, oh, I'm getting everything, is uh, Cody Usler or Utzler. I gotta call him up, find out. But I'm gonna bang out a quick vid on this. This is another 18 year old kid that wanted to show me his knife just to check it out. This flies out phenomenal. Just amazing what these kids can do. He's a young man, budding knife maker, and this thing is perfection. All right. Uh, that'll be next, but uh, of course I didn't want to steal the thunder from the, uh, not that you could anyway, from this beautiful night. Okay, folks. Um, yeah, till the next time. It's getting harder doing these YouTube videos. Like, there's only so many of us banging them out. And I feel like I have to do them for you guys, you know? <laughs> um, just a little insight into a Blade Show. It, I want to say that I don't mind doing the Blade Show videos, but it kind of becomes like a chore after a while. And um, and I feel like obligated to bang it out for you guys, and I do, and I do. And um, as long as I go to a blade show, so I'll bang them out. I'll make the videos for you guys because uh, I want to bring it home to you guys for the few that few people that don't get to attend. I definitely want to bring the experience to you. Um, hope you guys appreciate that. All right, folks, peace.